New York Times reporting provided uh, Representative Nunes uh, with the information that he spoke about last week. And according to the Times, um, the senior director for intelligence on the NSC, who was hired by Michael Flynn, started going through these documents after the president's tweet, the wiretapping tweet. So I'm wondering if the White House thinks it's appropriate for national security officials to be conducting what's basically a political task, which is trying to find information that then validates something the president said. Yeah, so I've read the report, uh, and respectfully, I think your question assumes that the reporting is correct. Uh, and, and so I'm, I would just suggest to you that the letter that was submitted earlier to the ranking, the, the chairman and the ranking members of the two committees, two intelligence committees on the Hill, the reason that, uh, that the White House has asked them to come up is to view that information. And again, uh, I, I don't want to get in front of that. As I've said before, I don't, I, I, we are not as obsessed with the process as much as the substance. And I think that our goal is to, uh, to make sure that the ranking members of both committees, as well as the chairman, see the information, um, that uh, the materials that, that are important to this, and then worry about the, 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 the outcome at the end of this. And then uh, on a different topic, with Ms. Walsh's departure today, uh, are you expecting any more staffing shakeups in the West Wing? No. Catherine. Sean, are you saying that the Ms. Um, I'm saying that in order to in order to comment on that story uh, would be to validate um, certain things that I'm not at liberty to do. And, and I understand that. And, and again, and I think that there is an assumption, as I've said before, we cannot condone the the. I mean, in the same way that you protect sources, when I call you and say you've got 18 anonymous sources, and you go, "Well, I can't reveal my sources." Chairman Nunez, in conducting an investigation and a review, has an opportunity to have his sources. Uh, our view was is that the smart move was was to make all the materials available to the to the chairman and the ranking member of the relevant committees. Um, and I understand the the obsession with the process piece, um, but we are focused on the substance of it. And I think the goal is to make sure that people uh, have the substance uh, that are looking into this that we have asked to look into this. Uh, so and the go White House did make materials available. No, no. I, I, they, we've sent a letter within the past few hours uh, to both of those committees, uh, informing them that we wanted to make that available to them. And what kind of message do you think this sends to people watching this? I, mean, does it I think it sends a, a message that we want uh, them to look into this, that I think that as we have maintained from all along, that I think there's a belief that the president has maintained that there was uh, surveillance that occurred during the 2016 election um, that was improper and that we want people to look into this and take the appropriate, legal, responsible steps to both understand it and then address it. Major. I want to read to you something you said here at the podium on March 23rd when you were originally asked if the White House might have had any role in providing information to Chairman Nunez. You first said it didn't make any sense to you, and you went on to say, and I'm quoting you here, I don't know why he, Chairman Nunez, would brief the Speaker and then come down here to brief us on something that we would have briefed him on doesn't seem to make a ton of sense, so I'm not aware of it, but it doesn't really pass the smell test. There's now reporting, which I can't tell if you're disputing or not, that identifies two people within this White House as the sources of this information. So I'm just trying to put these things together. Right. And Where you said that doesn't pass the smell test on March 23rd, now there's reporting well, that I, I think it is within the White House, that they were the sources of this. I'm just trying to put those two things together. Right. So number one, the first quote that you're reading if you actually go back, I was responding to, I, I was very clear that I said, based on what Chairman Nunez has said, I believe okay. the following doesn't make sense. Something that, so, so I'm gathering well, that you've learned something it. new since then, so please tell us what right, you learned. Right, and again, no, no, because again, Major, I, I've commented on this both yesterday and today, that your obsession with who talked to whom and when is not the answer here. It should be the substance. In the same way that when you guys print a story with 18 anonymous sources, your obsession is the substance. It seems now that you continue to, to look at it from a backwards prism, which is, you know, what happened, who drove in what gate, who did they meet with, what were they wearing that day, as opposed to what's the underlying substance of this? Did something happen in the 2016 election? Was leak, did leaks occur? We are not going to engage actively in that kind of leaking that has been a problem. In fact, if you look at uh, the, the Obama's deputy assistant secretary of defense that is out there, Evelyn Farkas, she made it clear uh, that it was their goal to spread this information around, that they went around and did this. And she said, quote, uh, that's why there's so many leaks. They have admitted on the record 
that this was their goal to leak stuff to and they literally she said on the record Trump's team there are serious questions out there about what happened and why and who did it and I think that's really where our focus is and making sure that that information gets out but can't the process from your vantage point validate the importance of the substance well I think there's a review that we've asked for Probably you told us that you're willing to look into and ask and questions about the process and provide us answers. And, and no, 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 uh, I, no, no, please don't put words in my mouth. I never said I would provide you answers. I said we would look into it. Our, the responsible thing for us to do is to provide the individuals and the committees who are doing the review the materials that they're looking for, or some of them. We don't know how many, what they're exactly looking for, what they've seen and what they haven't. Our goal is to be as forthright as possible. They ask the, intellig or the, the intelligence communities and others in a March letter for information. We have decide, we have, are willing to provide them uh, with the information that we have, uh, the materials that we have come across. And I think that is an important step. Again, it is not our obligation is to make sure that a review is done both in the House and the Senate as we asked for a few weeks ago, not to make sure that we illegally leak out information to you. And when you say we have information, are you disputing the reports in the New York Times? I'm not commenting on the reports, Major. I just I just got asked the same well, question. You're saying we, so I'm just no, trying no, to no. find out their I'm, names. I'm saying no. We, the meaning NSC, the White House, who work is, at not, White House is not is not going to start confirming for the first time. I, I get it. We are not going to start commenting on one-off anonymous sources uh, uh, that publications publish.